Pixie here from Pixie Site, and I'm going to show you how you can change your password on your Squarespace website and also design the login page. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change it to password protected. So to do that we're going to head down to settings and then we are going to go to site availability. So by default it's going to be set on private, um, so only you with your login can get to it. But if we set it to password protected here, then you can just go ahead and set your own password. So let's go ahead and uh, just write in a Fleur for that one there. Um, so this is my Fleur e-commerce template um, with a little bit of design done to it, a little bit of customization on it. Um, so we'll go ahead and save that. And now what we're going to do is we will head over to back to um, our home settings and we're going to go into design. So down here you can see that we've got the lock screen. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So by default it's just going to look very plain and boring. If I sent someone my um, Squarespace URL, which currently is a crocodile mustard, which has just been assigned to it, if I sent them that, um, now they will come to a password protected page. So if they popped in Fleur, they'll be able to get in and view the site. So what we want to do, of course, is make this a little bit more beautiful. So you've got here branding and text. So if we go ahead and click on that, you are able to either just have text or you can upload your own logo to it there. So I'm going to go ahead and have, um, let's call this website Fleur Beauty. There we go. It's popped it in. Um, our headline, um, all things beauty, there we go, and if you wanted to then you can add in some um, body text there. So what you might like to do is say something like uh, website coming soon, um, you could put the date in there, maybe you could do something a little bit enticing about what um, people can expect from your website but chances are the only people that are going to be getting to this page are people that you send the link to probably to check over the site or something before you end up by putting it live um, and then you've got the choice here whether to display that lock or not um, which is probably sensible to have just in the way that obviously it is secured and um, you can only enter this with a password. So now we can head back and then down here you can add some media to it. So you've got the choice of images or video or none. Video can look quite cool. Um, I have grabbed an image from um, Pixels. So you can either click on that there and then upload your image. Otherwise I've got my image right here. So we're going to drag that in. So if you haven't used Pexels, pexels.com. So I just searched for beauty and you can see here that we've got the selection of loads of images that you're able to use. Um, and it's always good to, you can credit the artists who have uploaded these images. So now you can see that it has uploaded the image into the background, but now we can't see the text because of the color of her hair. So let's go back here and we're going to go into style where we've got uh, things like we can adjust the type of font, we can adjust the colors and things like that. So here you can see font color, um, you could have got the size here, weight, style, um, transform to uppercase and the line height. So just leave it as default if you're not too comfortable with changing things around on the font. Um, we're just keeping this very simple today in how to change the, the page. So I'm going to go ahead and make that text white so that it's able to be seen. So that is just um, the branding here. And then we've got the headline. I'm going to drag that right up into the corner. Otherwise I could have just popped in the hex code. That one's not quite right up in the corner there so that it's exactly white. And then the body font as well. Cool, and then you can see here if you left it plain um, or you didn't have an image then you're able to change the background colour there. Um, same with a page border. So you can see that it's just popped that white border around which fits in quite nicely with the white and um, just the plain white 
uh, password box as well. You've got border size here, so we could go large, extra large, medium and small, and you can change the color, but I think white looks quite good for this one. So you can have auto overlay color for the background image. It hasn't made too much of a difference here, but obviously it might help with um, being able to see the text or not, being able to put an overlay over top of the image. Um, and then you've got little things here like changing the size of that lock. We want it extra small, small. I like extra small there. Um, we can have the style of the border for it as well. Solid. Cool. I like it nice and simple there. You can have the shape of it, square, circle, or rounded. Cool, and the color of it there. And then we've got the password box as well. So that can either just be an underlined, nice and simple, or it can be the rectangle. So I'm going to go for underlined here because I'm keeping it all quite minimal. So when you're doing this, keep in mind that it is could be a little bit of an insight into what your actual website is going to end up by being like. So keep it with your brand um, so that it remains consistent across your brand from socials to landing on here to once your website is live as well. So nice and simple, that is how you set your password, that's how you come in and you change your lock screen uh, so that it looks a lot more beautiful than just the original lock screen. In another video I will show you how we can change the um, crocodile mustard, whatever your default is for your domain, and if you want to work on things like your branding, I do have a free branding uh, download guide that will help you nail your brand um, if you are just starting your website or you know that your business needs a refresh. If you like this, please thumbs up and I'd love you to subscribe for more Squarespace tips.